Video interviews for law firm applications can be a nerve-wracking experience. I mean, you'll be sat in your room, usually in formal clothes from the waist up, and you'll just be talking to your laptop screen. So it's a bit unnatural. And because they're convenient, law firms are going to be doing these sorts of things more and more. In this video, I'm going to go over a few things that I think are the main things that you can be doing that can help you pass the video interview stage. And I've split these tips into three categories. Preparation, performance, and practice. First of all, we're talking about preparation. And one of the main things that you need to do to prepare for this test is to control your surroundings for the video interview. One way you can change your environment to improve your video quality is to make sure you've got the right lighting. And to have good lighting, all you need is a light source that's directly facing at you, not behind you. So one thing you can do is you can use a lamp that you have lying around and put it behind the camera um, on your laptop so that it lights up your face. As well as this, another tip is to close the curtains and close the blinds in the room that you're doing the video interview in. And this will prevent any um, natural changes of light that take place you know, during that time you're doing that interview. My next tip is to raise your laptop high. And the reason for this is so that you'll be looking at your virtual interviewer at eye level, as opposed to looking down on them. And looking at them at eye level will help you sit up straight, keep a good posture, and it will just come across a lot better in the video itself. The way I would do this is to use some books that I'd have lying around, extra points if they're law textbooks, to raise your laptop high up so it matches your eye level and um, you can get the effect that you want. Another important way that you should control your environment during the test is to make sure that everyone in the house is aware that you're doing this interview. So just let everyone know whether it's sending a text in your group chat or whatever to make sure that people are aware so they don't come in and interrupt you during the interview. Another good thing to do in this preparation stage is to test your technology. And one thing you can do is to check your internet speed. You can just go onto Google and type in speed test and then just click one of the options to see what your download speed is. But you should be looking for between one and two megabytes per second. Also, make sure you have your laptop plugged into the charger during the test because you don't know how long it's going to run on for and you don't want your laptop running out of charge during the interview. So now we're moving on to the second stage and this is called performance. Here I'm going to talk about what you can do during the test to make sure you come across as best as you can. And the first thing I want to talk about is the questions themselves. You're never going to really know exactly what sorts of questions are going to come up in a law firm's video interview. Firms change it quite regularly and as well as that they sometimes throw in some random ones to just catch you off guard to see how you'll think on your feet. But there are some that are probably quite likely to come up. Things like why this firm, why commercial law, some competency based questions and maybe some scenario based ones as well where they kind of paint a picture and put you in it and ask you how you would um, deal with being in that situation. So for those sorts of questions, you can probably um, presume they'll come up. And if not, it's still worth putting aside that time and planning some answers for them. So if they do come up, you're ready to just get the answer straight out with no problems at all. Having said that, although you won't know exactly what sort of questions will come up, there's still some ways that you can prepare before the video interview starts. And what I would suggest is for you to make yourself a video interview cheat sheet. The benefit of these pre-recorded video interviews as opposed to a real interview is that you usually have some thinking time to uh, plan your answer before the video will start recording. So what I would recommend for you to do is to get a piece of paper which we'll call your cheat sheet and have on that piece of paper the main points that you're going to answer for those uh, more obvious questions that we raised before like why this firm, why commercial law, um, some main points for your competency questions, maybe already put in the star format. Uh, as well as this, you can have a list of your work experiences, the um, competencies that each of them show and the characteristics that each of them show. You can have some facts about the firm, some notes about recent deals they've done. You can put anything that you think that would help you during that test on this piece of paper. It can even be stuff like look into the camera and sit up straight. Literally anything that you think will be useful to you during the interview, you should put on this piece of paper. And you should have that piece of paper in front of you during the video interview, so in those 30 seconds of preparation time, you can have a look at it and it can help you, um, help prompt you if you're, if you're a bit stuck on what to say. There's lots of times that I've been stuck in the past and this cheat sheet has really helped me out. Next up, I wanna talk about how you structure your answers because this is really, really important. And the reason this is so important is because you've got a limited time to answer each of the questions. It's usually maybe 30 seconds to one minute to plan and then the video will start recording and you'll have one minute, one minute 30, maybe two minutes to give your answer, which 
just isn't a lot of time at all. So the way you structure and present your answer is important so you can get all the information in within that time. As I said, you have like 30 seconds preparation time between each question. And I'd recommend you use that time to structure the answer that you're gonna give. So for example, if the question is gonna be something like, why this firm? You can pick three main reasons that you wanna to go to that firm and make sure that you hit those three reasons within the time. One tip that I learned from Gordon Chung's video is to use signpost phrases. And these are things that will tell the person watching the video where they are in your structure. And it really helps organize things in your head, but also help people follow along as well. And signpost phrases are things like, firstly, secondly, thirdly. So if you're doing the answer to why this firm, you could say something like, the first reason is this, the second reason is this, and then the third reason is whatever that final reason is. As I said, this will help you fit within the time and follow a structure. And as well as that, it will help the um, grad recruiter follow along with your arguments as well. Gordon's another trainee who's putting out loads of useful application related content and other stuff too. So definitely go and check out his channel. Another thing you should do is to make sure that you end your answer strongly. It's really easy to have your three points in your head. You hit them one, two, three, and then you finish off your answer without really knowing what to say. And you could just end up going something like, um, yeah, or something like that. Just You just have some sort of filler because you don't know how to finish it. And while that does happen sometimes, it just lets down an answer that would have been really strong. So one thing I'd recommend is to link back to the question itself to give a really strong answer. Maybe the question asks you to give an example of when you showed good teamwork. And you can go through the star structure, situation task, action result, and to finish off um, the answer, you could just say something like, and that's an example of when I demonstrated good teamwork. It's a really easy tip and it doesn't really require much thinking because you're just basically reading back the question, but it makes the answer much more final and it just makes it come across better. A couple more tips to keep in mind during the interview itself is to keep your eyes on the camera. Um, it might be quite tempting to look at yourself on the screen, but um, keep your eyes on the camera and try and uh, avoid doing that. Also, don't be afraid to be natural in the answers that you're giving. At the end of the day, law firms are looking to hire people and people that they want to work with. But while for sure it's a very stressful situation to be in, to be doing a video interview, uh, don't think that you have to come across very professional and very proper because it's actually probably better for you to come across more natural and more just like your normal self. Next up, we're talking about practice. And every law firm in a video interview that I've done has tended to start with a practice question at the beginning. But I wouldn't use that as an opportunity to actually practice doing the test. Instead, what you should be doing in that practice question is checking that your laptop's working, checking your internet's working, and that your video is well lit and that the audio can be heard clearly. But your practice should actually be well before you ever click start on that video interview. And in fact, you can start practicing before you've even got a video interview offer itself. All you have to do is really simple. You just have to recreate the video interview setting as best as you can. There are online video simulators that you can use but you can get a very similar experience by using your laptop to record yourself and using your phone to time yourself, answering some questions that you found online. And in your practice, you're not gonna come up with the same questions that they'll ask in the real test, but it will give you a really good opportunity to uh, work on your delivery, see if you can fit your answers within one minute and just get more comfortable in front of a camera, which trust me, it's kind of weird to start with. One thing you might notice is that it's really tempting to look at yourself on the screen while it's recording. So one tip that I'd give if you're doing that a lot in the practice is to use a post-it note to cover your face so you're not so distracted by looking at yourself and instead you can focus on the camera. You can even do this in the real video interview itself. A final tip I'd give for the practice and this is something that you can do in the video interview itself is that imagine you're speaking specifically to one person and you can imagine anyone here, maybe someone that you've met from the firm uh, a trainee you know there or someone from grad recruitment but sometimes it helps to really personify who you might be speaking to and it will help you come across more naturally and just keep you calmer throughout the interview process. So that brings us to the end of my tips on video interviews. I know it's a really weird experience doing video interviews but a lot of firms are doing it and it's just going to get more common. So hopefully these tips can help you feel a little more prepared when it comes to the real thing. As always, let me know your thoughts on this video by leaving a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a comment down below. If you're doing applications, consider subscribing because I'm going to keep on putting application related content up too. I've got an Instagram page where I post updates and ask for video ideas. So follow me there if you've got any topics in mind that I've not covered yet. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you next time.